Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into some hot topics. Shout out to all black girls everywhere. But it would be crazy if I didn't talk to the main hot topic. Hold on. So how could I not talk to the topic <laughs> that is the hottest black girl day off creator? Tamika Casanova and what we who we know her as is Queen Sheba. All right. Hi everybody. I hope you ladies have enjoyed your day off. I hope you I hope you did it unapologetically, not asking for permission. We are kicking open doors. We're changing the narrative when it comes to black women. This one's for you. Thank you so much, Queen yeah, Sheba. Absolutely. Let's keep going. Y'all, how wild is this? Navient permanently banned from servicing federal student loans must pay 120 million dollars in new settlement they trying to shut down the forgiveness program and these people gonna have to pay you and might have to pay me let's keep going y'all here's the reason why in a detailed report the bureau argued that navient violated the consumer financial protection act the fair credit reporting act and the fair debt collection Practices Act. Additionally, the CFPB alleges that Navient misled and harmed student loan borrowers by doing all of these things right here. Botching payment processing, deceiving borrowers about Navient's requirements for co-signer release, because they was on my phone. I was like, I ain't got it. Child, your name might be on it though. Let's keep going. Baby, it looks like love is back in the air, okay? Judge Mathis reveals that he and his wife, Linda, will be reconciled shortly after she filed for divorce. Now, I don't know the time of shortly, but it could be a month. It could be to the end of the year. It could be next week. How do you feel about this? I know he's happy. Let's keep going. Y'all, I real deal holy field thought Teresa Randall was not well. I could have sworn I saw her in a wheelchair. But the Jasmine brand is reporting that she has been arrested for felony assault following DV incident. Like the woman was in a wheelchair. She wasn't even on what, Bad Boys 3 or 4 or whatever that was. They had to put somebody else in her place. So they're saying on October the 5th, officers arrived at this particular resident and Teresa Randall had already left. Two days later, they received another call from the same exact location regarding a potential DV situation and a restraining order violation. Then the sources say that Randall was present at all of the scenes when these things happened and she was sub subsequently arrested for felony assault related to the October 5th incident. Law enforcement sources mentioned that when Randall appeared in court on October 9th, the district attorney rejected her case. I know I saw that woman in a wheelchair. What is she doing? It's going to be some people hot behind this right here. Allegedly, TMZ is reporting that Diddy is about to drop the names of the players on the Pittsburgh Steelers team who attended his activities. Y'all... I don't even know what is going to happen. This thing is about to be epic. As I was preparing the hot topics, okay, I got this. Martell Holt is being sued, y'all. Martell Holt versus Scam, case number breaking, first to report. And it's Pinky the Housewife on YouTube. Gone over there, child. She talking to Miss Black Titanic, but hold on. Now, I can't reveal my source who sent this to me, but... It says Martell is being sued for $212,050. No, he doesn't have a license to build a home. I talked about this a long time ago. A long, like last year. When he took them people like $68,000 and told me he'll be back. And he'll have a builder's license and their house is not complete. Child, this is a mess. 100%. I'm with it. A hundred percent I am with this. Nelly has announced that he's bringing back apple bottoms. You know, he got a baby. He need to buy milk and diapers. He's, I don't know how many shows he's doing. I'm going to buy these. I never had apple bottoms. And I've always wanted them. I'm here for you, Nelly. This is what Nelly said. Don't call it a comeback. Want to see what I've been up to. Make sure you sign up for behind the scenes access to our first big kickoff. Where do I sign up? OfficialAppleBottoms.com. That's where I'm going. 
Because <laughs> I'm giving me a pair. Just I'm putting all this in some apple bottoms. What you look at here? Charleston White arrested on aggravated assault and animal cruelty charges. I believe it. He probably kicked somebody's dog and slapped a woman, maybe. Maybe that's... I can see that. He's where he needs to be. Let's keep going. Somebody said, one thing a man would do is embarrass you. They are good at that. So, Mary J's ex-husband, Ken Do Isaacs, says the singer is done, fat, and washed up. If she is washed up, that's a hundred percent your fault. After you did everything that you did can do allegedly and had her to pay you out her money. Sir, you have a nerve. Now, you know, Mary did say that she's about to get ready to retire. And I agree. I think it's time. But he's a mess. Now, we have talked about R. Kelly and his daughter, honey. She is saying now that he did do something. But she was too scared to tell anybody. But down here in the reading, you can go to the um, Hollywood Unlocked for all of this. Um, it said that she was 10 years old when it happened. And she first reported it to her mother, Andrea Kelly, in 2009. And that's why Andrea said, out of all the things he's done to me, I never thought he would do anything to our children. This is ridiculous. So Kayla Nicole was on Angel Reese's podcast and Angel asked her, like, what was one of the craziest things that you've ever done uh, because you were upset about a breakup? She said that her boyfriend broke up with her on a text. He went with someone who was famous at the time. That's what she said in this video at the time. And she said what she did was she dressed up like the girl that he started talking to that he lied to her about. He dressed up like her for Halloween. Hold on. Child, is Tiana Taylor. She dressed up like Tiana Taylor in the Kanye video. Is this crazy? Like, is this getting your lip? Like, would you do this? This is crazy, right? I think this is a little crazy. It's a little crazy. <laughs> Why is Darius Cooks bothering Tabitha Brown, right? Tabitha minds her business, makes her popcorn, crock pots, and her vegan tacos. She doesn't bother anybody. Darius is out here screaming out loud that he never would have signed with Target, even if it was $10 million. Did Target ask you to sign with them, Darius? They asked her. And why wouldn't she sign with somebody to have a backing, Right? You see what she's done? I don't know all the logistics and the ins and outs of it. But what are you so bothered, sir? And Tabitha definitely gave a slow, quiet, happy day shade. She returned it back. She said, very demure. Some people, all they got is nerve. I agree with her. Because, sir, why are you talking? Baby, it's here. Okay? It got here three days ago on October the 8th. Right, it's on the shelves. They have zero sugar available also. That would be me. Um, Shirley Temple, pomegranate, and cherry soda. I'm here for it. Let the holidays begin. <laughs> this, I'm sorry. These last two days have been amazing. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. I just know that God has allowed it to happen, right? Because it happened. Um, and there's just talented women, right? So we don't know what's going to happen, but we're hopeful. And I want to thank you once again. It's your girl, Millie Chan. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>